Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Scramble from Emotional Crypto Trading and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all the best guys. Today we're going to discuss about Bitcoin's price analysis as usually and have a few details that are intended to be as technical details of the market, important price points and possible patterns that could appear as we already know trading is all about the possibilities which are appearing. It's just important to know which possibilities have higher chances than the other and what is happening if we're touching specific price points. That is the crucial part of the technical side. Right, so over the last few hours we did had an increase of 10% on average in the space. We're talking about December 28th today. 10% market gap higher, 10% average increase for the space. We've got alls going higher than BTC as usually. One of the things which are not pretty much correlating to each other is the Ripple with Ethereum that is pretty much different. Ethereum picking up double than Ripple, actually a little bit more than double, and we're getting closer to the market gap of Ripple, ready to unrank and become second by the market cap on coinmarketcap.com back again as it used to be for Ethereum, even though the future for Ripple looks amazing, right? We're going to discuss about that in the next moments. Well, great. 24 hours volume is pretty high. $19 billion for what it used to be these days, right? So this isn't one of the average or low volumes right there. BTC dominance is decreasing. And the reason for that is that the alts are taking advantage of the bullish energy during this holidays and, um, you know, happiness times. And the space is picking up more on the alt side, right? So discussing about the technical side, we've got a 30 minute discussion today on the candlestick, three hour in the one day candlestick, right? So here's BTC paired up with a US dollar for the Bitfinex exchange. That's for all the settings on all the uh, analysis. And here we go with the 30 minute charts. What we have here is definitely a support at 3,700, that one right there, which kept us once again and confirmed pretty nicely. We did see that previously reacting especially on the resistance side. But back then, if we scroll and we go left, we see we did react it with resistance, with resistance. We did react it nicely with a lot of support going on at that time. Now, you can see even if you get supported at certain point from a specific price point, for example, 3,700, we got supported, we just went back up to 4,400, and then we got rejected at a very high pressure, pushing us down to 3,300, and of course, even lower at 3,200, right? So it doesn't mean if you're going 4,500, that in the next days you're not going to touch the last bottom once again. One version is not going to exclude the other one. And we already know this. So it doesn't mean it, we have reached back up over here. We don't have the ability to retouch this bottom. It doesn't mean at all. We don't have any data right now telling us that we broke out of the 4,400, 4,500 area. And we're ready to establish a new structure. Currently on the 30 minute candlestick, we're trading within the same structure. And that is our top. So that's the point we should be afraid of. We've got other positions and other movements within the structure that is considered as a bottom 3,200 right here and the top 4,400. So whatever happens over here is great for day trading. It's beautiful because it has volume, but it do, do, does not give us any sort of prediction for a longer period of time. If we have a parabolic movement, like I just spoke about this guy right here, 
which happened in the last hours. 10% the entire market. This right here doesn't mean we got out of the bearish environment. Because we know already we've got a bunch of those during the last few months and nothing have changed as soon as the bearish ones are dominating the space. It's never going to be in a single direction, only big candlesticks, swing highs, swing lows like this continuously without having out of the other color the same thing, right? So the way it goes is you have out of green ones just like that, but you also have out of red ones. And the one that dominates, that is where the market goes. Because some people expect if they see a parabolic movement of 10% in a matter of an hour, they think that it's finally over. We're out of the bearish market and we're great to go towards in a all-time high position, just like that out of nowhere, out of the sky, boom. No, things are not happening out of the blue. We already know that in the way the market goes is you have out of both this kind of spikes, but what it makes the difference is of course the one that is happening more often. And for the last 12 months, we've got the red ones happening more often. All right, so that is the detail around that fact that I just entered in to discuss about. On the other side, nicely, we just broke out of this resistance right there which is intended to be $3,850, $3,900. We had resistance during that phase, but with a parabolic movement, we were able to break out of it. And of course, we have touched the resistance line of the trend, which is coming down the way, and it's having the establishment and the direction point right there. Just like that, following the channel, and like it would be handcrafted, we have stopped there. If it breaks out of this, we have this range appearing as a powerful selling energy. If we break out of that, we have to create a different chart because it's a total different story as we enter in a different uh, structure. Very, very simple. Great. Let's take a look at the three hour candlestick because here we have a different pattern. The pattern is called the reversed head and shoulder, and there are probabilities for the right swing to be established as long as we do one single thing. Right, so we see how the left shoulder is establishing right here. That we've got the head under establishment. Once again, finding resistance at the same price point, basically, like the left shoulder. So basically, that's the point from where the right shoulder is being established, finds support exactly at the same price point where the left shoulder finds a swell, and from there it spikes. Now, the big discussion and the big deal is going to be if we have the power to break out this guy right here in order to continue and, of course, create the pattern as it is in a process of 100%. Right, so the resistance that you got to break out is exactly this guy right here and slightly above it that I've been just speaking about. Keep in mind the resistance is appearing here, it is appearing here, it is appearing here, and probably if we're looking left, it's going to appear even more. So this is what we have as of right now. This is the way it looks like on the three-hour candlestick, and a lot of the people is telling us that we have high probabilities to establish a reversed head and shoulder pattern. Yep, it is always appearing in matter of 95% until the right shoulder, right wing. Until that, this pattern appears so many times, but after, it is difficult for it to get established. Right, so let me share with you which is that one. And I'll clear this thing out. Let me clear the head and shoulder and make it once again for you to see which is the most difficult part for it to pretty much get established. So we're putting here the left shoulder. Now it is about the head. Now it is about the right shoulder. And here you go. So the right shoulder, right wing, this guy right here. This guy right here is the most difficult for it to get established, right? Because it needs to break out of the 
structure line which presented resistance three times one two three three times resistance in the fourth needs to break out and that is the most difficult part that's why i say the right wing of the right shoulder is the most difficult all the other parts and you know specific progress of the reverse head and shoulder pattern can be established in 95 percent of the cases but it doesn't mean too much for swing trading in long term for short term day trading you can take advantage of that and trade it that is possible uh great so this is where we are with the three hour let's take a look at the one day candle sig right here well we've got you know the last bottom at 3200 appearing there um you know what we can see here is pretty much the same like with a three hour candlestick you got the resistance at 4400 4500 this horizontal line right here which is appearing as well as there's going to be a resistance at 5000 as well right here and after that at six thousand dollars basically six thousand two hundred there is some point that we should expect if you break out of that then you can think about as a probability of a bullish season right but just take a look at that if it's happening it's going to look like this very aggressively very very aggressively and less probably it's going to look like that We've got three important major resistance line to break, which are very powerful. And if you want to look at the $6,000 resistance line, this blue line right here, that one right there, on how many confirmation it has, you're going to get scared. Market is going to get scared too, and it's going to run away. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten and you break out of it right there so ten confirmations supporting us at six thousand you break below at the time you're going to retouch that you will have to fight with all those confirmations and beat the entire energy that's been you know surviving building and collecting on the 6000 level which is very difficult at this time it is not going to be difficult probably later in 2019 when we're going to retest the six thousand dollars level and the energy that is going to be on the bull side in the energy compared to the bearish side will make the difference for the bulls that's way more probably than right now so we can see this chart we see that 3000 is a level of supported than 1800 this is a big discussion if we're going to retest those levels and probably if the best prices for btc to accumulate are below three thousand dollars and above 1800 because it's pretty difficult to get below that in my opinion below 1800 uh, even though a lot of the people say there needs to be a capitulation phase well it should be there's every time a capitulation phase appearing in the market and that is very very aggressive if it's right now well that's pretty hard to say because we didn't have any aggressive sell-off in the last period right so what do i mean by that is let's assume you have a movement just like this right it's still down the way but then a certain point the capitulation phase is, is going like this and it finds a bottom from there it starts picking up slowly and it breaks out all the resistance points it's very important to go it that way but we need this right here in order to consider it as a capitulation phase once it appears just like that then you could consider hey is this the last capitulation phase yes it is if it's touching you know prices that are between 3000 and 1800 
in the current statistics of the market. And what I'm doing right now is not making predictions or giving investment advices or anything such. No, it's I'm reading the charts, presenting you the language of the market and sharing it to the public. Basically, this is what I see here on the charts. This is what you should see as well. Here, this portion right there is clear to us that it does not look like as a capitulation for sure. Great. That's pretty much all on the BTC technical analysis side and details. Let's dive into a few news which are represented. We've got Visa buys Ripple partner fintech firm. Um, Earthport stocks soared after acquisitions news. No apparent impact on Ripple's price. We can see that it's even lower than uh, Ethereum is increasing in the states. You see that Ripple is just like seven percent. Ethereum is more than double increasing. While uh, Ripple basically has the amazing news, even though it's not reacting to those. It's very close to BTC's one. Uh, this is awesome news. You can read around it. Um, Wall Street Journal: Bitcoin trading at a strong correlation with gold as traditional investors step in. That's how they're pairing it up. Of course, this is just news and it's not going in the same exactly way. It is not going to go just like that in the same direction as it did when when we we're going parabolically. It was not the same thing. It is totally a different story. If there is anything to correlate at a certain period of time, well, I believe it is normal as soon as both of them are following a downtrend there are some similar patterns because the patterns are the reflections of human behaviors right so here is another statistic over 70 percent of respondents say ripple will see the biggest return in 2019 this was a survey this is not a prediction or anything such but however uh, we got in December, in November, amazing news on how Ripple is getting adopted and the speed of their progress is unbelievable, right? So Ripple, as it is right now at 37 cents, looking at their all-time high right here, look at that spike, which is crazy. But that's fine. Let's take a look at the all-time high. I guess I should zoom in a little bit here. 3.7.37. Do you know what that means? From the current price, that is 10x. 10x ripple. Market cap is very low for now. It's just 15 billion dollars. 10x represents 115 billion dollars. Definitely visible. On the other side, what we have here, Ethereum is more than 10x. Uh, Bitcoin at $4,000 is probably around 5x from the all-time high position. So you see already the difference between the first guy right here, BTC, and then the Ripple. We've got 5x, and then the second one is already 10x. Imagine if you go to the next page, and you'll see here some cryptos right there you'll see that they have between 20 to 30 X difference in the prices from their all time high position. You will be able to find 40 to 50 X, but I'm telling you the average is between 20 and 30 X average decrease from the all time high for all the cryptocurrencies right there, which are serious projects, by the way, for example, 36, million dollars is not a joke for the 24 hours volume on a cryptocurrency today when the competition is 2072 and of course it is difficult to get volume in a bearish market around holidays season it makes sense so we definitely have to consider there are great cryptocurrencies which are inside you know the category between 100 and 200 page number two here in coin market cap as well you gotta research up to page number five in my opinion if you want to go uh, to invest long term right so that's pretty much all about today's video presentation guys 
feel free to hit that subscribe button then click the bell button once you have did that uh, YouTube is gonna let you know about my videos and all that stuff and that's pretty much where we are right now feel free to share your opinion in the comments area your feedback like and share this video uh, let everybody know about it thank you so much for watching there's a coaching program one-on-one -on -one coaching in the description area if you think that's something for you if you want to become a professional trader to do coaching with me take a look at that link is going to explain you more and we can have a conversation about it great that's pretty much all about thank you so much talk to you soon